All right, when you open up Desmos, click on the little plus sign and then click on table. Then entering in the particular data that you have. The X value, one. Let's just take a, a look at it. And, and it and it appears to be, um, there's a curve to it, but it, it's it's not exponential. This, um, if it were exponential, as X increases by one, Y would increase by some common uh, multiplier, ratio we call it. So while it's some kind of curve, it, it's, it's not, um, a, definitely not, perfectly exponential, but we can fit an exponential uh, model to it. After entering your data, go to cell 2. Start with Y1, Y sub 1. That'll reference the Y data that you just entered in. Then click on the keyboard, and then ABC, the bottom left, and then the wavy equals for approximately, or the tilde for approximately. And then we're going to enter in um, your your standard form of an exponential, a times b to the power of, and we're going to uh, reference our x list up here, x sub one, and then hit enter. And um, yeah, it's it's a pretty good fit. Um, my my first thought is it's kind of quadraticy, but this looks this looks like a pretty good fit. And over here you can see um, r squared is the coefficient of determination. It is um, you can read it as a as a percentage. So it's basically saying that ninety eight it's a ninety eight percent fit. You might say technically ninety eight percent of the change in y is predicted by change in x. It is it is a really good really good um, quadratic, I mean a really good exponential fit. I'm going to um, just do a, a, a quadratic and see um, what R squared is for that. So doing the same thing, backing it up, and I'm going to type in a, um, a quadratic model. Um, so A X sub 1 quantity squared plus b x sub 1 plus c. Okay, it is, yeah, r squared here is 1, and you can see that it's a perfect, a perfect fit. I should have probably looked at the, at the second differences in the beginning. If you, looking at the second differences here, Betsy, um, 1 goes to 3, that's a change of 2, 3 goes to 6, change of 3, 6 goes to 10, change of 4, 10 goes to 15, change of 5. Looking at those second differences, I'm going to copy this into a, I don't, I, why well, I didn't look at this originally, I don't know. Um, so my, the math teacher in me gets a spanking. So, um, uh, from 1 to 3, changes 2. From 3 to 6, the change is 3. From 6 to 10, the change is 4. From 10 to 15, the change is 5. Looking at these second differences, 1, one, one. This is indicative of a quadratic relationship, not an exponential relationship. Um, I hope you I hope this video will will help you out. Um, the The equation for it, Desmos will have it cranked out for you right here. A is 0.5, so it's one half x squared plus one half x. That's the b parameter. And C is the constant.